Since the launch of NVIDIA's RTX 30 series lineup in late 2020, several GPU brands have started manufacturing their own variation of the card that includes the 3070 as well. Although the Founders Edition is quite perfect itself, the varying cards are made for specific purposes in mind. Some of them have smaller form factors, while others have water cooling blocks for overclocking. In today's video, we are going to showcase 7 of the best RTX 3070 cards to help you find the perfect one. Techfluencer delivers a complete buying guide for tech enthusiasts. Here, we try our best to make you pick the best PC components, laptops, and other tech gadgets with brief technical information, pros and cons, ratings, and recommendations. Our tech expert team tests, reviews, and benchmarks thousands of products to come up with the list of the best and latest products, along with recommendations for the viewers. To know what is the best choice for you, watch the full video and check the description for the purchase links. Starting at number 7, we have the GeForce RTX 3070, the base and founder edition model from NVIDIA that set the motion to other rebranded 3070 cards. The RTX 3070 is a remarkable combination of price and performance that can be just the thing you need for 1440p gaming. It lets you save much while getting you more performance compared to the previous generation RTX 2080 and even the 2080 Ti cards. Furthermore, this card utilizes NVIDIA's ray tracing and DLSS technology to provide you with comparably higher frames per second in 1440p resolution without sacrificing image quality. Better performance sure does require greater power and the RTX 3070 will do about right with just 20 watts more than the 3060 Ti. Having a 650 watt PSU will be enough for you to power this beast up as well as the rest of your components. If you are willing to bring up your budget count to get that extra bit of 1440p gaming performance, then we recommend the GeForce RTX 3070 for you. Next up at number 6, we have the RTX 3070 Tweed Edge OC from Zotac. The closest 3070 model with slight clock speed improvement and spacious design. While the reference model has a clock speed of 1730 MHz, this one however pulls it up a little bit at 1755 MHz to squeeze up some extra frames. Other than that, this card also features a dual slot form factor that will fit most mid-tower chassis without compromising the thermal performance. The OC title on the end of the card is more than just a marketing term as this card technically has some overclocking potential which makes this card worth a while more than the base model. It requires only 220 watts of power and has the same port for connectivity. The only difference is it costs a little more than the base version while delivering slight performance improvements which justifies the price. Overall, the Zotac Twin Edge OC is a perfect blend of form factor and performance that you might want to pick for your next upgrade. At number 5, we have the EKWB GeForce RTX 3070 an exceptional variant of the 3070 which is a result of a collaborative effort between ASUS and EK. It features a compact metal backplate with PCB reinforcement and a steel mounting bracket which ultimately makes this card take up only one slot. On top of that, the water block design covers up the entire card keeping it cool during intensive usage while the Aura Sync lighting effect adds a visual aesthetic to it. And lastly, the aluminum backplate does quite well to hold the structural integrity of the overall card. Now that we have blabbed so much about how unique this card looks, let's talk about its performance. It has a 1755MHz boost clock, slightly better than the Founder Edition, but it keeps the thermal level comparably to a minimum with the water cooling effort. Overall, gamers and PC builders who are into water cooling will find the EKWB GeForce RTX 3070 a thing of admiration. On 
On the number 4 spot, we have the GeForce Gaming OC from Gigabyte, a stylish card that features Gigabyte's signature metallic design. This card features Gigabyte's signature black and gray metallic design, and the full metal backplate has a smaller cutout for greater airflow. Gigabyte kept them from using their high-end GPU coolers in this one that they used in the RTX 3080 and 3090 model. Instead, they used 80mm fans on all three coolers that gave this GPU a symmetrical outlook. The game clock has undergone some improvement as well, as this one incorporates 1815MHz, which is significantly higher than the base variant. The four ports on the I.O. panel include two HDMI 2.1 and two DisplayPort 1.4 ports for connectivity and sized about 286mm in length for a seamless fit. Overall, the GeForce RTX 3070 Gaming OC is an amazing card that features Gigabyte's signature design and will fit most standard PC cases perfectly. At number 3, we have the MSI Gaming X Trio, a behemoth of a card with improved performance and design. What's different about the MSI variant from the Founders Edition is the boosted clock frequency. MSI has brought up the numbers from 1730 MHz to 1830 MHz, which ensures greater benchmark scores as well as performance. With RTX 3070's 5888 CUDA and 46 ray tracing cores, this thing is a beast that can take on rendering and intensive gaming demands masterfully. MSI's black and gray theme looks quite sleek in this card as it will fit well with most gaming setups. The subtle RGB design also looks quite sleek and a thing of admiration to add an aesthetic touch to your gaming PC. Overall, the MSI Gaming GeForce Gaming X Trio is an excellent card with improved cooling, remarkable design, and higher clock speed that you will find amazing. Making our way to number 2, we have the EVGA FTW3 Ultra Gaming. A solid graphic card among all three of EVGA's variations with superior clock speed and premium design. This GPU outperforms the 3070's reference model with a base clock speed of 1815 MHz that will let you play modern AAA title games at a much higher frame rate. Just like most high-end models, this one also has a triple fan design with an ICX3 cooling solution to effectively maintain the thermal level during intensive gaming or rendering. It draws a total of 220 watts and requires at least 650 watt PSU to be on the safer side. You can power this GPU with two 8-pin power connectors and we recommend a platinum certified power supply such as the Corsair CX650M. With the same connectivity ports and a decent price, the EVGA FTW3 Ultra Gaming is a smart choice for gamers and rendering professionals in general. Finally at number 1, we have the ASUS ROG Strix. ASUS's flagship and an outstanding GPU that can take on almost anything you throw at it. Similar to the tough gaming version, this one is housing Axial Tech fan upgrades for optimized cooling solutions. The PCB has undergone some improvements as well, so did the backplate with some performance boosting charges. It doesn't stop there, as ASUS has polished the surface of the heat spreader, which provides better contact with the fan and heatsink for better thermal transfer. The card is expected to eat up three slots of the I.O. end, and we recommend having a big enough PC chassis to house this beast. With its dual PWM fan connectors, you can directly attach the chassis fans for greater customization while increasing the intake or exhaust of the airflow that will aid you in intensive 3D tasks. Overall, the ASUS ROG Strix is one of the best variants of the RTX 3090 currently available on the market with extreme performance, the most reliable cooling solution and an iGASM design. So that was all about the top 7 best 3070 graphics card. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.